Uh, also making headlines today, a fatal car crash in 2018 is sparking more questions over the indictment of New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez and his wife for alleged bribery. Nadine Menendez, who at the time was the senator's girlfriend, reportedly struck and killed a pedestrian with her Mercedes-Benz sedan in suburban New Jersey. Uh, she was found to not be at fault. Uh, she's actually seen in this video being questioned by police on the side of the road in this newly released dash cam video. If we can clear you from any wrongdoing, I want to get you home and comfortable and not here anymore. That's your statement that you were driving this way, the guy came from this way, and he ran into your vehicle. He jumped on my windshield. You can hear her saying that the man that she struck with the vehicle jumped on her windshield, jumped in front of her car. That crash is now being investigated uh, because there are questions of whether it's linked to allegations in the indictment that Menendez used his power and his position to benefit an associate of an Egyptian-American businessman who later financed a new Mercedes-Benz for Menendez's wife, then girlfriend, following that crash. Uh, both the senator and his wife uh, deny any wrongdoing in the case. But let's talk a little bit more about it with national political reporter for The Hill, Julia Manchester. So, Julia, Nadine, not charged at all. We've said that. But there are some questions now. Was she investigated thoroughly enough? Did they just decide not to do a drug or DUI test for a particular reason? What is Senator Menendez accused of doing uh, following the crash? Yeah, Adrian. In terms of Senator Menendez, um, you know, the relation this crash has to the indictment is really through um, Nadine Menendez. Um, he is not directly linked to the crash or anything necessarily happening after the crash. However, like you referenced before, there are questions as to, um, you know, who financed the car, the new car after that um, in relation to that. And then, of course, there are questions as to why a sitting senator's girlfriend was not tested for drugs or alcohol use following the crash. You would think uh, that would be a standard protocol. However, that did not take place. Um, and some of the reporting surrounding the crash that has you know, since surfaced within the last 24 hours, there's also details that show that Nadine Menendez struck this pedestrian backed up a little bit and then drove out of sight of surveillance cameras before other cars stopped and gathered around the pedestrian who was struck and killed. So lots of questions as to what went on that evening and why she didn't go through what would be what we would think would be the standard protocol, at least for someone who had struck and killed a pedestrian. Police say the pedestrian was jaywalking. But is this a distraction uh, from the bribery charges? I mean, how can they legally link what happened here uh, to the charges that Bob Menendez and his wife are facing? Well, the P the other co-defendants in the char that are cited in the charges um, are accused of essentially financing that new Mercedes-Benz convertible for Nadine Menendez. So it seems like this is essentially an example of um, you know a bribe that was taken um, by uh, Nadine, now Nadine Menendez, um, and now it's essentially being linked to that. In in terms of how emotional it is, Richard Coop, uh, the man that was killed, uh, was he was struck in in front of his home. Uh, he's father. Why do certain family members of Richard Coop believe uh, that the investigation was not thorough enough? Well, because it went away, or it seemed to go away very quickly. Um, you know, like I said, there was not a lot of investigation in terms of drugs or alcohol use that, you know, maybe someone, a, a normal person or, uh, you know, someone who's not, um, uh, you know, in relation to a public figure would go through. Um, you know, she, she didn't go through that. And they said that, you know, the investigation essentially just became very quiet, that it very much went away. Um, so that's what they're alleging. Now, Bob Menendez is saying that obviously he th he and his um, wife think of the family. It was a tragic accident. But that's what we're hearing from his office. And his office also um, referring any questions over this uh, to his wife's lawyer. Okay, really quick. Uh, he and his wife's trial date isn't until next May. How does that complicate uh, the timeline in terms of New Jersey's primary yeah, look, I mean, it complicates it quite a bit because uh, it falls sort of right in the middle of the general election cycle. But we do know that this primary could very much become crowded. Uh, we know that a number of uh, 
Democrats have called on Menendez to resign in the Senate, including New Jersey Democrats. And in fact, Governor Phil Murphy's wife has been floated to replace Menendez should he step down or even run. Um, but there's no indication that he'll do that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.